And here we go, a decade in four videos, done. Yes folks, welcome to day four, final day of the decade special videos. Uh, welcome back to the with Danny. And the last video, um, just before I get into the shoes, once again, like I always say, Huge thanks to everybody who's watched over the past three days. Um, people are just, what I love is like, there's so many different people on so many of the different shoes. Some people all over the Blackburn, some people all over the Garwins, some people all over the Hardwick, some people all over them all. Some people not bothered about some of them and that's cool, right? Like I always say, variety is the spice of life. And we are on to the last pair. We have got the Lacom SP ZL and one of the other things I keep forgetting to say in these videos is these do have the anniversary now they're in focus. These do have the anniversary sticker on the back like the previous drop did as well again Individually wrapped all nice and beautiful. Here we go check these bad boys out Lacom SP ZL Now what we're saying about these So for me I Have a great appreciation for people who like Certain shoes and I know there is a huge appreciation for people who love the Lacombe and because of that I can Completely understand Why it was put in the decade pack, right? But if I'm being brutally honest, I've never had a pair um, I do like the white trainers from Spezial, you know, I wear a lot of them, but I've never had a pair of Lacombe and for whatever reason, I just kind of don't feel like the suit my style, do you know what I mean? And it's just, so I've never bothered going for them, but I'm going to show you the details. I really like this pair as well, so I'll show you what kind of what I like. Unfortunately, because I've never, like I said, never had a Lacombe, I've got none to compare. So it's the one video this week, I'm really sorry, I can't show you a comparison with the old ones. So I don't actually know the details because I've never had a pair myself. But I'll show you what you've got and then you can compare them with your own at home maybe. A couple of things, obviously, you've got this super, super premium leather. Like, and I mean, it's super, super soft um, all the way around. And then like some of the recent white shoes has been like off-white and I kind of like that contrast because... I've always said making a white shoe is really difficult because they can be plain and you've got to make them look premium. So it's a really, it's a real difficult challenge. And then they've got like this round the front. I can't kind of work out the material, but they've got this strip around the front. It's almost like a, a new bucky kind of material. Obviously the midsole is the off-white rubberized. Um, and then you've got the laces, which are an off-white kind of chalky colour, as is the tongue now the tongue is a mesh underneath and then you've got this amazing blue uh, paint leather i hope it looks blue because as i'm looking on my screen it looks black on there uh, you've got some blue paint leather on the tongue uh, which also matches the heel you can even see my ring light look <laughs> that's how shiny it is um, on there and then what i do love about these Obviously it says like the, the spring, spring 24 in there, uh, but the insole, look at the insole, the insole on these is just absolutely fantastic. And then obviously you get the gum outsole as well. Oh, this is how beautifully wrapped up they are, I've not actually opened up the second one. I don't think there's any difference between the two. Um, no, they are exactly the same. A couple of things I really love, right? And I can't, I, I, I'm not too sure, right? So I don't, like I said, I don't have a pair. I've never had a pair. So I'm trying to go from memory here. I think the paint and leather's new on this version. I know there's been some blue ones, some green ones, and then they went into Adidas Originals and there was some like chalk ones and they kind of did that kind of overlap on the original ones. Try to like, bring from memory here. But I really actually like the patent blue. It's one of the elements of the shoe that I really, really do like. I can't really put my finger on why they've never kind of spoken to me. I don't really know what it is, 
to be honest. Are they something that I would wear all the time? So here's what happens, right, with my white special shoes. It's happened to my Burnedens, it's happened to my Englewoods. I wear white leather shoes for when, I mean, the weather today is really rubbish, right, and it's a little bit rainy outside. And so I wear my white leather shoes there because the white clean afterwards, right? But I almost, I don't know if it's, I feel like these are almost too nice to wear in that weather. So I've never kind of gone for it, whereas the other ones, I, I'm trying to dig, I'm almost like digging myself in a hole here, I don't mean it like that. Yeah, I've just never had a pair. Um, let me get these out because what I do know about the old pairs and what loads of people have been asking me for the sizing is that the old pairs run big. Now, I've got to confess, I have slid these on before because it was one of the things. And these are an eight, I'm an eight. And because, now, there is a little bit of room in there. I would be going half down. I've got quite wide fitting feet, so I could almost get away with it, but there's that little bit of room. And because the leather's so soft, I think you'd get like a funny crease in the end. Whereas if you went half down and they were a little bit snug, cause the leather's so soft, they'll, they'll loosen up and you'll have a little bit more room. Are they a pair I'm gonna get? If I'm being brutally honest, and I, I genuinely try and make my videos as authentic and honest as possible. I don't try, I am right, I'm straight up. These probably, for me out of the whole pack, this is the one shoe I'm probably not gonna go for. I, I like them, I like them on other people, it's just not a shoe for me. There we go, Lacombe, Adidas Lacombe. 109 pounds on the seven store raffle. Um, and obviously there's raffles and Adidas confirmed and all the rest of it as well. What I'd say about the whole collection, I think they are quite reasonably priced. I know everyone wants the shoes at like 65 quid. We're in 2024, it's not gonna happen, right? So that's just where we are. I don't think 109 pounds for some premium leather white trainers that you can wear like on a nice sunny day. I think that that's what, these are probably more for sunny day trainers rather than some of the other white leather special shoes that I've got that I wear them when, not like it's cruddy, but you know, you can wipe them clean kind of thing. So, that's it, all four done. I wasn't too sure about whether to do this or not, but I've got all four out, right? And I've split them into the two I'm gonna have and the two that I'm not gonna get yet, I might pick up at a later date. I bet you can't guess which two and which two. Ugh. The two for me that I'm not gonna go for is the Lacombe and the Blackburn. Now, I actually really love these. I think as a shoe, I think the suede is better. I love the flock stripes. I love the heel tab, I love the, like, the slight different shape on the heel tab. I love the blue tongue, everything about it. I just don't like the rose, and <laughs> I can't do much about that. I'm a Yorkshire man, right? I'm never wearing a red rose of Lancashire, so that is one of the reasons, or that is the main reason why I'm not going for them. As a shoe, I think they're absolutely banging, and I think they're better than the previous version in terms of quality and in terms of materials and things like that. Like I said, I don't really do uh, the Lacombs, it's just not a shoe that kind of goes with my style, I feel. I, and maybe more thinking about it, I think they go really nice with a pair of jeans and I'm not a massive denim wearer. So like even today, like you've seen, like I've got cargos on, I tend to wear cargos and cargo shorts and, and things like that. Not all, not really like a big denim wearer. Don't get me wrong, I wear the old pair of jeans every now and then, but not a lot. But these two pairs, 100% these are my, and I can't even pick one, but if you said bullet to my head, a load of people have been asking me, come on, just give us your favorite one. It's probably gonna shock you. I think I picked the Garwins. I think they're absolutely sensate. I genuinely, genuinely, I don't do religious shoes usually. And I just think these are absolutely incredible. I'm actually gonna get my girlfriend a pair. I'm gonna try and get my girlfriend a pair, like, because I think they look really good on like size four feet as well, like little ones. Ardwicks, I just think, I love the suede. Someone described it as a really mossy suede and I thought, I can't think of a better descriptive word than that. So if it was you, I forgot your name, but shout out to you who said mossy suede. Cause I think you've nailed that. I love the brown midsole. I have heard a few people talk about kind of how thick it is. I kind of understand a little bit, but I do like how it looks. It, it's kind of something that, that appeals to me. Ardwick's definitely 100%. That's what I am absolutely gunning for. 
and the Garwins. I think these two are absolutely mega. And do you know what? As a pack as a whole, I think it's a really good decade pack to celebrate Special and what Gary has done and what the Special community are into and have been into over the last 10 years. I think they've picked out some really good shoes. Let me know if you agree in the comments down below. And that is it for the decade pack. Once again, thank you all for watching over the past four days. Thanks to everyone who's come up to me at like the, the exhibition. Uh, if you go into the talk tonight with Fenners and Gary and everybody else, uh, I'll see you at that. Just one last huge, massive shout out, obviously to Gary Afton, to Sam Quilch, and to the rest of the Special team. Do you know, I always appreciate that you send all the shoes for me to review. And to all you guys that watch and say how valuable it is that I show you the shoes. And probably even more so this time around because I feel like some of these are absolutely going to... You ain't going to have a chance to like buy them again or like they're, they're not going to be sat on shelves like some of the other releases. I think they're just going to disappear, right? So my advice is, especially on this drop, get the pairs you want. If some of them do sit and you want to pick them up next month or the next time you get paid or you decide to get them another time, then maybe gamble on that. But I, I am 100% buying the pairs I want straight away. Anyway, that's everything from me. Don't forget to like, subscribe, blah, blah. See you time in the annex. Bye.